mate. Cheers. I've come in today to to listen to uh, one of my great mates who I've shared the last eight years with, and, and he's been here for nine, uh, who also had to announce his retirement today, Patchy Adams. Um, I'll keep this very short. I've had to write some notes, because I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning <laughs> after the last couple of hits I've had. So. I've had five concussions over the last 12 months, and um, yeah, after each concussion, I've sort of sort of seen a team of specialists who have just sort of put me through some tests. Uh, I've probably known for about uh, a month now that I'm going to have to pull the pin. Um, obviously, too many hits to the head. Um, I saw the neuro a couple of weeks ago, and he just pretty much said that um, although it looks like you know I've made a full recovery now and um, everything should be good for the future, if I was to continue playing on and cop any more hits, that um, could be starting to look at some long-term damage. Um, so made the decision pretty easy to, to, to pull the pin there. How hard was it, I guess, to stand up in front of the group and uh, and, and and say what you just said? Yeah, it was it was actually really tough. I saw you obviously go through it three or four weeks ago, and although I didn't shed a tear, so it wasn't as hard as yours. But um, um, yeah, it was one of those things that I'm um, wrapped. It's over now, but that I can tell the boys um, before it goes to the media, and um, yeah, wrapped it over with. But yeah, really tough to go through. Uh, you know, I've I've got over. I'm not playing footy anymore, and I've, I'm pretty content with that. Like you know, I'm not going to run out there anymore. And, and you know, I love that part about winning with the boys at you know, 10, 15 minutes after you've had a good win, sitting around in the locker rooms talking some shit. The last probably three concussions I've had, I've had lingering effects for, you know, the last two I've probably had effects for eight weeks where I've sort of um, had migraines, um, yeah, really lethargic and just um, no energy at all. Obviously shattered that I can't be, be here anymore with you boys, but just wishes all the best for the year and um, yeah, hopefully we can get back to playing that type of footy that um, we know we can capable of and go deep into September. And Obviously, a massive, massive thanks to, to my wife, Cass. She's, um, she's gone through a fair bit over the last few years with my injuries. I don't know if I can go through it. Like, you know, seeing, I'll put on, you know, if I was her, seeing her, her get knocked out all the time, you know, laying there. And, um, you know, I've had 12 or 13 operations since I've been here, and every time I've woken up from an operation, she's been there at the end of the bed. And, you know, I can imagine that'd be pretty tough for her. And I think, you know, these last few hits have sort of just made her think that <clears throat> it's not really worth it. You know, I'm, I'm not willing to risk any long-term effects for, for a game of footy, so I've got family and stuff like that to worry about now. And um, yeah, so we, uh, we come to that decision. You don't realise how, how good we've got it here until it's, it's taken away from you. So just, yeah, enjoy every minute of it because you don't know when it's going to end. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Whatever you do in the future, I know that you're going to always be much loved by the footy club and, um, yeah, and much loved by me. So um, congratulations, mate. Excellent. And uh, let's go and enjoy a few beers in retirement. <laughs> <Two>. <laughs> yeah, you're on two, I'm on four. <laughs>